out to Stevie now for a check of our forecast. Stevie, will we need the umbrellas today? Uh, for the most part, we're actually going to stay mainly dry throughout your Wednesday. It's really when we head into later on this evening throughout the overnight hours, that's when we're going to start to bring back some of the rain, even the thunderstorm chances. Uh, but the threat for severe weather will actually be limited today. As we take a look outside right now, this is overlooking Haverty Grace, a beautiful shot right there. The sun is shining brightly. I love seeing the boats out on the water as well. Temperatures this morning are starting off slightly cooler than they were this time yesterday, mid to upper 60s and the lower 70s. Uh, it is feeling a tad bit warmer down towards Annapolis, Stevensville, even over by Easton, all hanging out in the lower uh, 70s, whereas areas around Deep Creek and Western Maryland, upper 50s and the lower 60s right now over in Frostburg. Uh, so quite a difference. Uh, it really just depends on where you are across the state of Maryland. Satellite radar right now is picking up not really much on anything across the mid-Atlantic region. So that's a nice change from what we dealt with yesterday. But as that cold front continues to slide across the state, it's going to slowly drift northeastward as we head into the afternoon. That's going to increase our cloud cover, and it's also going to help push some of those rain showers and storms from southwest to northeast. I'm thinking areas around Frederick, Columbia, uh, Washington, D.C., even across the eastern shore will be the first areas to see some of these showers and storms first. And then we could be seeing some of these showers and storms around the Baltimore Metro, across uh, Hartford County, even around Cecil County as we get into tomorrow morning. So these showers are looking to linger as we head overnight. So just keep that in mind. As we head into the afternoon, this is a look around 1 o'clock. We stay mainly dry, partly cloudy skies, upper 70s to the mid 80s out there. We rise pretty seasonable to the upper 80s heading into the afternoon. And then showers will start to invade Frederick up towards Thermont, even around Columbia as we head uh, into later on tonight, mainly after sunset and beyond. That's the better chance for the coverage of rain, especially across the Delmarva Peninsula overnight into early tomorrow morning. But by daybreak tomorrow morning, we could be waking up to some spotty rain showers and a few downpours around Bell. Air, Essex, and over towards the Inner Harbor tomorrow. And then we have more rain and thunderstorms on the way as we head into the next couple of days. So unfortunately, we're not out of the woods just yet regarding rain and storms. Uh, but for much of your Wednesday, looking dry, so a very nice uh, change of the forecast, you know, compared to what we dealt with yesterday. We're talking about daytime highs into the mid and upper 80s, uh, close to 90 degrees for a few locations, but dew point values uh, will be in the upper 60s to the lower 70s out there that will help it feel more comfortable out there this afternoon, but then we'll start to increase the heat and the humidity as we head uh, into the next few days. And then that chance for showers unfortunately lingers into your Saturday and then we'll be back into the lower 90s as we head into the beginning of next week. 